What's up, y'all? This is Ant Goods and it's Bob Sun TV. And today we got Migo Lee got indicted. I can't even make this up, y'all. First of all, we're going to have a moment of silence for DMV Rock. Everybody, make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. And this for all the haters that be in the background and you falling off. You're doing this, you're doing that. I'm just making YouTube videos, enjoying my life. If anybody think that's a problem in this world, leave me alone. I don't know what y'all going through mentally or what y'all dealing with. I just make YouTube videos and live my life. That's it. Anything other than that are stories y'all create. Please don't be in my comment section telling me how you feel. That's how you feel. I'm not you guys therapist. If it don't relate to this topic or this comment section, why are you coming to vent to me in my comment section? It's like mental health. Leave me alone. Like or subscribe. If you don't like it, block it. If you like it, like it. If you watch it, subscribe. It makes sense. So I hit Migo Lee last night. Like, can I get an interview, bro? I reached out to him. He like, yeah, so we supposed to set it up today for so we supposed to get a time and a date for today. I text him, he ain't texting back. I swear an hour later, I seen Migo Lee locked up, Rico charges something. I said, oh my god. This is what I think is really going on. I think Ma, I'ma just tell y'all with my instincts in the streets. Ma and Fort Chapel and Quan somewhere in America. At a clipboard, they might be in California, one in wherever he at. Like they in somewhere got the FBI, got them at a the clipboard, and they putting everything together. I'm just give y'all a scenario. It's between Ma and Fort Chaplin Quan, or I'm gonna just say it's Fort Chaplin Quan and Ma together. Like they just taking the whole DMV rap scene down. Like I blame it all on them. Y'all think I'm lying or tripping? Like I'm just making up names. I ain't calling nobody hot or nothing like that. I'm just saying Fort Chaplin Quan and Honey Ma. It ain't been the same since them two, but I'm be quiet. I ain't in the streets. I'm just the messenger. But like I'm saying, yeah, so they got Migo Lee locked up. A Rico charges, guns, fentanyl, a rock of everything. I'm going to give y'all an update once I read into it. I made this video before I even read into the report, really. I just seen it, and I breezed through it. And I was like, damn, I just was about to interview him. We had an interview set up for today, and he got locked up on the day we had it set up for an interview. That is crazy. I still can't believe it. So this for all the rappers out here in the world. Allegedly, if you're doing something in the streets, don't do it in rap. DMV rap, we don't have nobody no more. Like this is over. Like I'm sorry, I'm like everybody just take it. Like take take them enough. Everybody just chill. Like all the rappers, I'm dropping no songs on that. Just take this whole city. We just gonna take two weeks off. Let's go ahead, man. Put the raps down for a minute. I don't know, man. Y'all incriminating yourself going to jail. Ever since Ma went to jail for them fentanyl junk, though, I never seen this many fentanyl indictments since Ma got locked up. I don't, first of all, I didn't even know. First of all, I'm not even in the streets to know about blues on Pop Thursday. Yeah, I see him on a timeline, like a story. Somebody overdosed. Somebody overdosed off a of, uh, fentanyl pill or something like a news report. I see it down the timeline, stuff like that, but I don't know people that literally sell them jumps or deal with them jumps. So when I seen Ma went to jail for that many fentanyl pills, I'm like, damn. It's like soon as right after him, I just seen 19 other people. Not 19, it was 12 on that one. 20 uh, some other people go to jail for the same charge. Like, indictments, fentanyl. I'm like, what? FBI, Rico's. <sighs> Migo Lee called a Rico. A DMV rapper called a Rico. Do y'all not? Migo Lee caught the same charge as Rafael Edmonds. <laughs> Don't let that go over your head. Rafael Edmonds was the first nigga in a DMV that I know got a Rico. Migo Lee got a Rico to Rafael Edmonds. Don't they gave it to Migo Lee? Like, free Migo Lee though, man. We got some lawyer money to deal with that. It's all allegedly. So if y'all don't understand as being a rapper, that the police is out here watching all y'all, listening to all y'all raps, all y'all songs and all that. But it's another rapper, Greedy, his, his man, he got indicted too. They got indicted together. 
I'm trying to read. The, I ain't gonna read the article. I'm gonna post it so y'all can see it. I ain't gonna read. I ain't gonna read it because I can't really read. This is all public records though. We screaming free Migo Lee. Migo Lee music, man. It's like every time you hit one of the ones that be popping. Oh my god, like bro, it's irritating though. These videos are becoming irritating. Like indictment, indictment, indictment. Like every rapper, like who ain't going to jail? Who ain't dying? Like who gonna win? Like with a million dollars, I can't get on here and say such and such spend a million dollars or sign the rap deal. Like I get on say died or went to jail. Like come on, bro, I'm getting tired of these stories. I can't even find what I'm looking for on my phone. I'm so discombobulated. So how y'all feel about this? Like as a DMV rapper, y'all gotta talk to me in the comments, man. Send this around. Talk to talk to me. As a DMV rapper, how do you feel? Do you feel like you can rap these bars or lay these bars and get away with it without failing in society? Like, you think the police gonna let you do this or these raps or whatever you say you do? Or it just say, if you say, man, yeah, I did this, did that, and they just check into it and like, oh, he really did it. Like, what do they just be like, man, I'm gonna just check into what he's saying. It's like, it's too much incriminating going on out here. I can't make this up. I'm going to read into it and then give y'all a part two to this. But this was just for the people to let y'all know. Migo Lee got locked up today on a, on a RICO charge. It's him and a couple co-defendants. It's, it's a lot more other people on the charge. It's him and the other rapper Greedy. It's like, I can't even believe it. I don't even know what to say, bro. It's like, we just celebrated No Savage. It's like, we celebrated a win. Like, we just celebrated No Savage three days ago. Now they take Migo Lee. It's like, yeah, we thought we had a victory. Uh, DMV rap just need God, y'all. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be us against each other now. I feel like it should be us against the police. And I don't know beefing with the police. Not that. No. When I mean us against the police, like, let's show them we can link up and don't. Like, they ain't got nothing to do. If, if niggas ain't sliding, we just get money, stacking millions. Like, we making their jobs too easy. Like, I feel like beefing is like giving the police what they want because we making them get paid. We making their job easy. They lock all the rappers up. They looking sweet, popping donuts off this. They having a blast. Imagine if we wasn't beefing. They wouldn't have a job. Like, we, I'm not beefing. I'm just talking about black people as in general as the DMV rap scene. I feel like they wouldn't even have a job. They wouldn't have nobody to lock up. They wouldn't be eating no donuts, celebrating no lockups. They can't get no lockups if you ain't doing nothing. Y'all getting money together. Imagine y'all outside. 300 deep and all y'all getting money. What they gonna do? Lock y'all up for doing what? For standing outside? They can't do that. Y'all ain't beef. I think the beef is ending the rap scene. DMV rap beef is ending the rap scene. So, I just wanna pray for all the rappers that we got left. I don't even feel like we got no rappers. I don't even know no rappers. It's like the young niggas, y'all gotta understand. Please, just understand. If you're doing it, don't put it on camera. Don't say it, don't nothing. Like, leave rap alone. Go do something else. Like, if you getting money, put a rapper on. Make a rapper look like a rapper, the one that ain't really living like that. Cause like, you're telling yourself, incriminating yourself. I really don't know what to say. I said that five times, I don't know what to say. It's like, damn, bro, every week. I'm telling y'all, if I had to put my hand on where it's coming from, it's Fort Chaplin Quan and Honey Ma somewhere, bro. They, uh, let me start even say that, because do they imagine if I'm giving out the government witnesses' names. And I'm just saying. I ain't saying they is doing this. I ain't saying they ain't. But I'm just saying, like, that's where I'm thinking it's coming from, because there's no way. But, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Free me, go leave. Free KDY. Bob or something. Thank you.